As the mass exodus of Rohingya Muslims continues from Rakhine State in Myanmar to overflowing camps in Bangladesh, the international community is calling for an end to the persecution. Yang He Li spoke to a UN committee Wednesday, saying dangerous and dehumanizing speech tends to precede incidents of mass atrocities. Unfortunately, there seems to be little sympathy, let alone empathy, for the Rohingya people in Myanmar. For decades, it has been cultivated in the minds of the Myanmar people that the Rohingya are not indigenous to the country and therefore have no rights whatsoever to which they can apparently claim. Lee said social media had been used to incite hostility and violence against the Rohingya. Myanmar's UN representative disagreed with her conclusions. We wish the report would have reflected the difficulties of resolving the problems that are a legacy of decades of internal conflict, isolation and underdevelopment. Therefore, we are disappointed with some of the recommendations which directly or indirectly could hinder our efforts for a democratic transition, peace and democracy. But Joanne Lin of Amnesty International USA told VOA via Skype that the human rights organization believes the forced exodus of nearly 600,000 Rohingya Muslims amounts to ethnic cleansing and attempted to give a sense of the scale of the crisis. That's comparable to the entire population of Washington, D.C. on the run, fleeing for their lives. Children, women, and male civilians. Some U.S. members of Congress are calling on the State Department to designate Myanmar's actions as an ethnic cleansing. But a senior official said they are not ready to use that term. I want to be very clear. We are not shying away from the use of any appropriate terminology. We have a deliberative process to examine facts and a policy to support the pursuit of additional information to make such determinations. Murphy made clear the U.S. is not waiting to take action to hold those responsible for the violence, including by suspending travel waivers for Myanmar's military leaders. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.